Hello everybody, welcome to my second AD English game. Um, I've got no idea when I played this, but I just found out that it wasn't on the YouTubes today, so I thought I would do the replay analysis of it. Um, as you can see, there's no skill ups, the only thing is I've got a journeyman zombie. Um, playing against Grey Fox with his Kenry, he won the toss and chose to kick. Um, which I'm not sure about to be honest. I, I was quite happy to receive here and punch his armor seven uh, s skeletons and not knock them over with six dice. Um, but you know, mighty blow, mighty blow from the uh, mummies onto the skeletons is pretty got pretty good chances of doing stuff. So um, I was quite, I was, I was okay with receiving. I, I don't know what his plan was. I mean, if I really wanted to beat Kemri, I guess I would kick. And there's more chance of a draw by receiving, I guess. But um, yeah, I mean, I could, I guess, I guess I could have set up to blitz a uh, tomb guardian. The only thing is, if I had set up to blitz a tomb guardian, he would have probably been able to blitz a mummy back. And I just honestly thought three dice against skeletons, you know. Get removals, but didn't even knock them off. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. No, re no need for a pickup there with his team so far away and agility two and one. They're not agility one, are they? Um, they must be agility. Are they agility two? Yeah, they're agility one. All right. I thought they were agility one, and I thought, have I just said that? And they're actually agility two. This is quite good because I can't remember at all what happened in this match now. So he managed to blitz a mummy anyway, so I probably should have blitzed a Tomb Guardian in. I do find Kemri pretty difficult for bash teams to face low TV because sure they have this weak link of armor 7 but you generally don't have mighty blow to punish the armor 7 guys and you know they've got they're just stronger than you with the four strength thighs if they position them well and maybe have guard then um, it's pretty hard to they're a pretty tough nut to crack low TV this is a one dice blitz here that was bad wasn't it that was pretty bad <laughs> one dice blitz I mean that was clearly by mistake and now I saw instantly that it was a one dice this time watching, whereas playing you get the one you get the uh you get the tunnel vision a little bit, don't you? You can do. <laughs> oh amazing link in chat from John Toast there. Yeah, the uphill's fine there, isn't it? Because I've got block. But then didn't have the balls to do it on the other side. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's got two rerolls, so maybe I should have just not made that block and let him punch me with a with a tomb guardian. So he uses his rerolls. But that doesn't seem a winning strategy, does it? Getting all your players knocked down. They're tough, aren't they? They're tough. The strength five taking up two players. Strength five facing off against mine. I mean, either, you know, undead or better off than most bash teams against them because they've actually got the strength five to fight them instead of only strength four. But yeah, they're tricky. Classic thick skull impact there. Run over here and get a one dice on them and then fail the dodge. That was a bit unlucky, wasn't it? A bit unlucky because one dicing him would have made that short that up quite well. I mean, the good thing is you can't re dodge. He could have done, I guess. I guess he could have just gone for the dodge here, but probably not a good idea. Is it? I 
Yeah, it's funny that Reddit would <laughs> Reddit would have you believe that Kemri can't pick up the ball when actually they're better than most teams are picking up the ball, aren't they? At, at, a, at starting teams, seventy five percent pick up instead of sixty six. So. Yeah, I mean it's it's tough. It's tough when you just don't get rid of the skeletons. Basically, if you if you get rid of the skeletons, then it gives you more more to get. You've got more chance of getting on the tomb guardians, then haven't you? And obviously against claw palm at high TV, Kemri are a bit shit because the claw palm takes out the tomb guardians. And but even then, if if the claw palm doesn't take out the tomb guardians, they've got good foulers. Like they've got the worst players to pile on in skeletons in the game, and they've got the best players to pile on. In the game, which is Tomb Guardians, so they they can they can cause problems for bash teams at all TVs really. But generally, the higher TV you go, might be blowing the skeletons and claw pomming the uh, claw pomming the Tomb Guardians. They get a lot, and obviously you get guard in to be able to hit Tomb Guardians when you're lacking guard. They're a, they're a trouble. They're a, they really are a good team at low TV, Camry against bash particularly. Classic fail in the GFI there. Cheeky one is, I think it's worth it, isn't it? The payoff of knocking down the Tomb Guardians is pretty good. There you go. He's the one. He gets the first attrition, despite uh, despite me having mighty blow against armor seven. Uh, I mean, have I no mighty blow? <laughs> he gets the first removal there on turn four. Pretty pretty sad. I mean, this is a this is a very lame drive for me, isn't it? I'm not doing anything. I'm just getting out bashed everywhere and then running behind the line. It's uh, it's pretty bad. That's the thing, you know. Hopefully, if just let if I let him beat me up, he'll roll he'll roll both downs at some point. <laughs> I should block here and there, shouldn't I? This time, and then try to get through the center a bit here. I think that's what the game plan should be. I don't know what I'd do. Oh, wish he'd re-rolled it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what my plan was here. <laughs> hope for a hope for a power and then pass to him or something. No idea. Let's GFI and hit him. I think this would have been better to block him and then block him. If I'd got the power. No, oh, yeah, I did do that anyway. I just I just tagged him so that he couldn't do anything. Alright, fair enough. So I did go for the that knockdown, knockdown chance. I guess it wasn't so easy to go through the middle. So he's going to get a hit on the ball here, isn't he? One dice, um, at least, if he wants it, even one dice. Another removal for him. <laughs> so, <laughs> white cards out of regen fail. So yeah, it's, it's pretty tough. Um, and pretty tough when things go this badly, really. You know, I do have the movement advantage with the with the ghouls with dodges, and he doesn't have tackle yet. So really, I'm just trying to trying to get some kind of breakaway so that at this point he probably maybe he's overcommitted a bit here. Maybe he should have a sweeper back. Um, it's looking like he's going to one dice this mummy. No, no, so he's got a bit of a sweeper there. But clearly, potato play is the only option here. Yep, open with a one dice block. <laughs> yep, I'm fine with that. And make some make some agility three dodges. Outrageous. 
Oh, another one dice block to get them go. <laughs> what a horrible, what a horrible breakaway this is. <laughs> it's really bad, isn't it? Really, really poor. I mean, this is pretty easy for him to get two dice on the ball here. With block. Thanks to this guy. So that, that's why I tried. That's why I tried the 5 plus 4 plus dodge to, to tag him. Done the right thing here, hasn't he? Getting him in there, block him, assist blitz. He's done. He's done exactly the right thing. Maybe just gets unlucky. Oh, double score. That helps. No reroll on the punch now. Hmm. Not sure about that. Maybe should have put him here. In case he doesn't get the knockdown, yeah. If he put, he, he could have put, he could have put that guy there, couldn't he? In case he didn't get the knockdown. So I think that was a definite mistake from him. He had, he had all the movement in the world. He, could, he should have run around there. So the push would have been here. I think that's better. But then I guess I've just got the dodge away over there, so not necessarily better. But he's dodged this guy out, which would have then shut down the going around here a little bit. Just click on the end zone. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, it wasn't it. <laughs> it wasn't my greatest drive ever, but I mean, it's tough, isn't it? Down two men against Kemri is as kind of a bash team as bad. I started. I started setting up, thinking I'd scored on turn eight, and then either I realised or the other. The chat alerted me to the fact that it was actually <laughs> he actually had two turns to score. Yeah, early early dodge. I mean, ghouls are the reason that 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 undead are so good, isn't it? If undead only had mummies. They wouldn't be that good, but what makes them amazing is is the early dodge and blodge in the case of uh, NAF tournaments. Ghouls are ghouls are incredible. I mean, they're really incredible players for seventy k. An Amazon lineman with plus movement for cheaper than that, and as a starting player, is really great. Of course, no regen and no apple makes them a bit a bit brittle. This is this is actually I remember now. This is really costly. Me trying to stop him here. So this is uh, this is I'm doing chase cam where whoever receives gets the gets the viewpoint. Yes, yeah, so I think the dodge isn't. I mean, yeah, at least at least the they've got the block to hit the dodges with, which is better than teams like Chaos. Yeah, so although I try to stop him, hmm. this is this is his scoring threat, isn't it? This fucking skeleton. <laughs> um, see, obviously the the mummy's in real danger of getting surfed here, isn't he? I think I probably. You can definitely argue that I made a misplay on this turn. Um, let's see what happens. Irrelevant move first. Did the dodge so I could hit with block. Fair enough. I'm not sure which is right, to be fair. We've got the knockdown, so he's not scoring. And then you can argue that I should have just dodged this mummy out now, right? 
but instead I try to make this kind of a relevant block and one in nine dip and and cast myself. But the thing was, I wanted to not get my ghouls punched so much, right? I didn't want to get my, my ghouls hit, so that's why I was going to do that, so that I'd free up both ghouls. Um, so you could only blitz one, and then I was going to dodge this guy out of the end, because it was going to be a turnover, you know? So, you can argue that maybe I shouldn't have done that. If I'd just dodged, I would have probably kept my mummy, and not, and not lost the ghoul. Um, but as it was, <laughs> I made the block <laughs> and lost them both. Um, region on point this game, two out of two fails. But I don't know. I I, re I think it was probably was the right play what I did. Although although I had to make two one in nines, clearing the clearing the ghouls from tackle zones seemed pretty worthwhile. I just think I was unlucky. <laughs> he removes another. Ghoul. <laughs> yeah, and at this point, obviously, I've given up any hope of getting a draw. Well, a win. Um, the good thing is that Kemri are a bit slow in agility too, so they might not be able to win from here. So. Yeah, huge, huge swing that turn. Remove, <laughs> losing the ghoul and the mummy. Oh, horrible. So, <laughs> seven players. <laughs> seven players against a full 11. I think I think you could say I've been diced in this game, for sure. I mean, that's, that's pretty harsh, isn't it? Pretty harsh. And then, and then, <laughs> that happened. It's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid, isn't it? Absolutely stupid. I don't know if he tries for the win here or not. Like, he probably should. But I mean, even even with eight, eight players with two ghouls and a and a white, I might be able to do it. Oh shit! Right. Well. Okay. So yeah, I mean, the, the losing these three cars and the KO, and then the pitch invasion as well really kills my chances completely here. Um, it's just whether he goes for the win or he's happy with the draw now, isn't it? I'm going for the foul before the pickup. I'm not sure I like that because I think I would have gone for the win for sure if I was him. But I've got a dodge guy. <laughs> he can do something. <laughs> oh, good. Doesn't even make that three dice. With all the players he's got, doesn't even make it three dice. Kills him. Classic, classic Lona regen. The uh, <laughs> the first half white and mummy don't regen, but the second half Lona zombie regens. That is, <laughs> that's pretty typical of, of regen there. For anybody. It's, you know, I'm not. I'm not moaning about my luck or anything. That's just pretty much tends to what tends to be what happens for a lot of people. So yeah, really surprised he's not pushing forward more. I, I would have. I would have absolutely pushed forward more if I was him and, and gone for the win. It caused so much damage. I've got a chance of a one dice here, don't I? Yeah, that's just just cheeky four plus dodge. In for a one dice. Look at that, what a madman I was, making that dodge for no reason. Get the ball down, I'll take it. So yeah, I mean I guess I was trying to fight here for the to make it a one one draw. Um <laughs> 
because if he if I'd let him score early, he would have he would have been able to make it a two one win probably. So that was that was a good little desperation move there, and I guess that alone has made it um, made it a draw probably. But he he didn't help himself, did he? Making the foul before the pick up and stuff. Now, the reason that these are analysis, as a replay analysis, is, is, rather than live videos, is because it was the World Cup. I was tryharding and playing music and stuff rather than, uh, you know, playing music and not looking at chat or anything, just focusing on the game and trying to win. Um, <laughs> although you wouldn't believe it. Well, no, I haven't played bad at all, have I? I've just been absolutely screwed by the dice. Um, yeah, so that that's why the the World Cup qualifiers are all replay analysis rather than rather than live games because it is way way harder to play when you're streaming than when you're not streaming, and seeing as the games are so important, um, yeah, I've, I've I've given myself yeah, given myself the best chance I could to win to win the qualifiers. Now that I've started so badly with AD English ones. I might I might just do these live now because there's not so much to there's not so much at stake anymore with these. Whereas currently the Rebel and the uh, DBBC ones are going well, so I'll keep I'll continue to try hard with those. But I mean four players. I mean what what, what can anybody do when you've got four players? It's a joke, isn't it? Get a scoring threat. No, I think that was more. Don't get him killed because it's not res. Chases down the poor old ghoul, but yeah, that 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 wasn't a scoring threat. That was just literally trying to trying to not die because it's not res. Maybe he should have tried a uh, a tomb guardian touchdown here. <laughs> Maybe. He would he would have done it as well if he tried a Tomb Guardian touchdown just quietly. All these players and only a two dice block. Didn't even foul the uh, mummy. I can I can base the ball. I mean you know again I probably shouldn't have done this, seeing as it is, it isn't res. I probably shouldn't have tried to base the ball there. <laughs> I was really dumb. I was really dumb. That, uh, that was just that was just me being silly. Um, because at this point, obviously, I'd given up and I was just being silly doing that for the means. But I, I shouldn't have done because my mummy could have died, couldn't he? Um, I probably should have just left everyone down. But I didn't want him fouling, so... I mean, at this point, I'd probably started, you know, talking to chat and just being, being a bit silly. But really, I should have thought about keeping my uh, mummy alive. I like that he's not fouling. That's uh, that's very nice for me, isn't it? Obviously, he had to go there so he couldn't block me into an additional block, even though it puts me in easier three dice territory.
Yeah, it's too late from now to even go for the win, isn't it? And I just ended the turn there. I should have dodged, shouldn't I? That was a that was silly ending the turn. Again, I'd probably I'd probably completely lost focus at this point. <laughs> Then, you know, I can't even try the one turn there with with seven players. It's just not possible. Um, I guess I could have tried for a set up for a riot, but even even with a riot, you know, the movement fall. It's gonna be really hard to do anything. So yeah, just set up for... I did set up for the riot. To my credit, I did set up for the riot. I think I just ended the turn though instead of going for the uh, pass. Once I didn't get the riot, I should have gone for the uh, pass. Shouldn't I? Oh, <laughs> pitch inversion again. I just ended the turn in disgust, which was which was a bad idea because I could have made I could have made mummy blocks, couldn't I, to get star player points. Could have tried for a pass with a goal, so yeah, I guess I was I guess I was tilted there at the end. Um but you know, getting a draw Kemri Raw was gonna be tough. He got more blocks, way more injuries, more cars, you know. Just horrible, wasn't it really? I think that was I think it's fair to say that was a dicing. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.